Good morning, boys and girls. How are all of you today? It is Saturday, January the 16th of 2021. And I am Miss Deersha and I am here with you and I have my cozy blanket wrapped around me. Do you have your cozy blanket yet? If you don't, take just a little bit of time. I'll give you just a couple of seconds. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Did you get it? I hope so. If not, you can always watch this video over again on our YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to story time at our store. We're so glad you came to read and explore. Now open your eyes and turn up those ears because you never know who or what will appear. Today's story, if you haven't guessed, is called Blanket. Ooh, Journey to Extreme Coziness. And this book is by Lauren Brantz. And it looks like she's also our illustrator. So she wrote the words and drew the pictures. And here is our character with her cozy blanket wrapped around her. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Blanket. And we want to thank the Hachette Book Company, Little Brown and Company, for allowing us to read this story to you today. This is a dedication for Deb, the coziness queen. How many of you like to get cozy in your blanket? Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I was too busy being warm and cozy inside my fuzziest blanket. I call this a blanket cocoon. Mm. I know a few little people that like blanket cocoons. Do you like a blanket cocoon? You might be wondering, what is a blanket cocoon? Well, let me tell you. A cocoon is a protective covering. Some insects make cocoons to have a safe place to become their grown up selves in. Got a chalkboard and everything with pictures. Look over there. That cat caterpillar is about to make a cocoon. Shh, be very quiet. Watch as the caterpillar hangs from that branch. It's making a warm and cozy cocoon. It's a fancy caterpillar with a little top hat. Check that out. What do you think the caterpillar is doing now? Hello? Caterpillar, what's going on in there? Hmm, I hope everything is okay. <laughs> oh, thank goodness! The caterpillar is okay! And now it can fly. Wow, nature is amazing. Hmm, would you like to be inside a blanket cocoon just like me? Would you like to be inside a blanket cocoon just like her? Well, it says this way to extreme coziness. Our arrow is pointing. What did our caterpillar turn into? Does anybody know? Butterfly. Now, to make your very own snuggly, cuddly blanket cocoon, follow these easy steps. Step one, 
find your most favorite blanket. Did you find it? Okay, step two, lay it out on the floor. Do you have it laid out on the floor? All right, well, step three, lie down on the very edge of it, just like she's doing. And step four, now roll. <laughs> Gosh, I need some moms and dads to take pictures of some of these blanket cocoons. <laughs> Congratulations. You are inside a warm and cozy blanket cocoon. Now that you're here, there are a lot of things you can do. You can snuggle and wiggle and feel safe and warm. You can close your eyes. And wow, look at me. I'm soaring through space and running through the rainforest. Look at that imagination go. Oh, look, now I'm inside an igloo covered in snow. And under the deep blue sea. Where did you go? Now I'm, I'm, I'm up, I'm up. What I miss? <laughs> what have you been doing inside your cocoon? Are you cozy and comfy? Are you wiggly and giggly? Are you snug as a bug? What is going to happen when we leave our blanket cocoons? Uh-oh. We're taking our jacket off. That's okay. Not knowing what will happen is kind of scary. It is. Kind of like our worry source last week. Weird. And not knowing what will happen is also kind of exciting. I wonder what I'll become. I wonder what you'll become. We could be anything. Let's see. I'm a blanket fly. Oh, I love it. Yay. <laughs> what did you become? A blanket fly too? Or a blanket cat? Or a blanket bunny? Or the best thing of all, the amazing you? And there's our author, Lauren Bramps, and she's wrapped in her own big comfy blanket. That is the end. Did you guys enjoy that story? I loved that story. And she even taught us how to make a blanket cocoon and how we can go to different places with our imagination and even fall asleep. <laughs> I really, really, really love that you joined me on the story virtual story time rug today. And I hope that all of you have comfy, cozy, blessed weeks. And I will see you next week with another story. Bye-bye.